Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. On uh, this video you guys are going to watch today, I'm just going to go over my Waxwork record collection. Just recently on Facebook, I joined a new fan club that's all about Waxwork records. And on um, there, people post their, their collection. They post um, what they want uh, Waxwork to release new. Um, and just, it's been pretty fun. And lately, someone's been showing off their collection. I'm like, man, I need to show off my collection. It's been a while. Um, I've, shown, I've done a, a video where I've shown my whole record collection. Um, but I haven't just done one just specifically to one certain group. So I figured this one I'll do just all my waxwork records and um, It should be a pretty fun video just to show you kind of like what where I started and it's kind of for me It also helps kind of like categorize them like I have them set up and on discogs Which ones I own but on video form is kind of cool to see them too. So uh, without any further ado Let me show you my whole waxwork records collection So starting off with number one, I'm gonna go with the day of the dead it is Waxwork Records number three release. And I have it signed there by John Harrison. And this this soundtrack, man, to this movie is phenomenal. If you guys heard it, you guys know um you guys know the music to this. It's it's amazing. So this is a must have for any horror fans or any fans of soundtracks. Um John Harrison on this absolutely killed it on this one. So you guys if you haven't had it, I I, I think it's it was re-released re recently, so, um, yeah, definitely, definitely, if you get a chance, definitely get yourself Day of the Dead. So that's my first one that I got. So this is, I'm going in, I'm going in order of, of their, their numerical order. So like I said, this one's number three, and I'm just, I'm going to just go in that specific order. So my next one here is Trick or Treat. Music is done by Douglas Pipes. This was his signature right there. Directed by Michael Doherty. Signed right there. I was really hoping he'd sign right there, but you can still see it there. This is Waxworks number six release, and this one's also a fun soundtrack. This I this one gets played a lot in October during Halloween, so this one's definitely a must-have too for any Halloween fan. But especially if you're a Trigger Tree fan, it's you know Douglas Pipes did a really eerie, cool score to it, and uh, it's a fun one to revisit all the time over. Especially it's heavily rotated, heavily rotated in um, October. Now we're here we have release number nine from Waxwork Starry Eyes, starring Alex Alexandra Esso, which is a really cool flick um, with also um, Pat Healy's in it. Really cool movie, um, signed there by Kevin Kolsch and Dennis Woodmire, the guys that wrote and directed, and producer Travis Stevens signed right there. Uh, yeah, really cool soundtrack. Like I said, um, I, I'm surprised I haven't got her on there. I, I definitely need to add her on there, but uh, soon, soon enough. She's she's usually uh palooza so hopefully maybe in june i can get her to sign on there but uh yeah really cool movie cool soundtrack and another one on the collection and number 10 release of Watchword records is the warriors soundtrack right there fully remastered now you can't not think of the movie not think of the amazing music that comes with it as well it is absolutely classic just memorable warriors come out and play so yeah dude you guys um are a huge fan of the warriors you gotta have the soundtrack i mean it's just no question music the dj talking throughout the whole movie and uh it's just uh they go hand to hand you watch the movie and the music they just work perfectly together so the warriors my next one on the list is my friday the 13th part 2 soundtrack i have it framed so i have it here on the wall but as you can see, it's signed by a lot, every, almost, not everybody, but, you know, just a majority of people. Mary Manfredini, Amy Steele, John, John Fury, look at that. Marie Taylor, Adrian King. So everyone that died in the movies in red and then survivors in silver and Harry in gold because, you know, he's golden. But yeah, so that's that's number two. Love the way that looks. And then coming over here to number three with the coolest... 3D effect that is cool also signed by Harry Manfredini so there's you know a lot of the series I'm missing like four and five um and one so there's a lot more I can get from Friday the 13th series but for right now I'm stoked to have three and two right now in my collection this one has a cool funky disco you know if, if you've seen the movie you know exactly what I'm talking about that song is it's a straight banger. Here's 13.6, number six, Jason Lives. Um, Harry Manfredini signed right there. This sweet-ass cover by Gary Pullen. 
Um, just recently got everybody to sign it. Tom Matthews right there. That's CJ Graham. That creepy con. This was one of my favorite covers. One of my favorites in the series. This one is amazing. So, gotta have this one as well. Check that out. Coming in number 14. Do you guys know this one by the cover? Composed by Pino Donaggio. The soundtrack for Tourist Trap. Funky score. This one's pretty awesome as well. If you guys seen this movie, um, definitely check it out. It's it's a lot of fun. They're currently playing on Tubi right now. There's an unrated version. But yeah, Waxwork Records number 14. Tourist Trap, you know, Donaggio. I love the artwork on this one. So much cool. So cool. Can you just hear the saxophone? <laughs> Our score is AZ's Taxi Driver starring Robert De Niro. It's an amazing, amazing performance in this. Harvey Keitel, young Jodie Foster, music by Bernard Herrmann. This one is absolutely awesome. This one's cool because it's got like a yellow, black and white vinyl. So it's like a taxi cab. But this one, this one's cool. But again, you can't hear that saxophone playing throughout. But this one's awesome. This one is number 15. Ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> no say Goosebumps. Original motion picture soundtrack by Danny Elfman right there. You know, if you get a chance to get a Danny Elfman soundtrack, you gotta get it. This is uh, Jack Black, the movie Goosebumps, starring Jack Black, which is a lot of fun. I remember uh, taking my kids to see it. They really enjoyed it. This is a fun movie with a great soundtrack. Danny Elfman, I mean, it's just, you know, you just know his music when you hear it. So this one here is number 18. So number 18 here, Goosebumps by Danny Elfman. This one is number 19. Salem's Lot by Harry Serkman. If you guys seen this movie, especially that scene from the window. Oh man, this one is creepy as all heck. Original 1979 television soundtrack available for the first time on vinyl. Yeah, Salem's Lot, man. This one is a creepy. This is a fun one to listen to too for a while, especially in October. Super creepy. Look at that. Love that cover. Especially that scene. Oh, that scene's creepy. Salem's Lot right there. Here we have Waxwork Records number 20. Evil Dead 2 soundtrack. Original score by Joseph De Lo Duca. Colored vinyl. 11 by, print, 11 by 11 team printed insert. Look at that pretty cool cover by Phantom City Creative. That's awesome. I mean, how many times you watch the movie over and over again, you got the music stuck in your head as well. So, uh, Evil Dead 2 is so much fun. Look at that creepy cover. Oh, I love it. So cool. There you go. That's uh, number 20. Number 22 is My Bloody Valentine. And I had already signed, had it signed by Elaine Udi, Sylvia, but just recently at CreepyCon, I got to meet Peter Cowper, a.k.a. The Miner, a.k.a. Harry Warden. And look how beautiful that came out, his signature on that cover. Man, oh man. I got to frame this one. This one's too good not to frame. That one's awesome. So really cool. Really another cool release. Um, Underrated Slasher. Only got one movie. And they never made a sequel. Which is unfortunate. But this one's really cool. And in fact, it's a little Easter egg. It's uh, Tarantino's favorite slasher movie. So there you go. My Bloody Valentine. Uh, number 25 is uh, Krampus. And it's uh, Douglas Pipes again. Working with Michael Doherty. And lucky enough to get Michael and Douglas to sign this album right here. This one gets played on Christmas a lot. And this one is also um, a different version. This one is the picture disc ones where all four of them are different little creatures like these guys right here. And uh, there's different versions of this release, but I got the picture disc one. I think it's a more limited one, so. But yeah, there you go. Krampus, a fun movie too. Uh, I got that poster sign right there. There it is. Now, I'm not sure what creep show, what number of the creep show is because it's framed up, but I might as well just do it right now. Got it signed by Adrian Barbeau. And when I purchased it, it was already signed by John Harrison. Right there, which is really cool. This is a cool cover. Man, I got it in the cool purple vinyl. This one's a lot of fun to listen to. Since it was my very first album that I bought, it was the only record I had for the longest time. I listened to it over and over again. And it's become one of my favorites now. So it's really fun. So I'm not sure what number that one is, but I had to make sure I, I got that one in there. So here's number 26. 
Black Christmas, original score by Carl Zitter. It was for the first time I ever pressed on uh, colored vinyl. Art by Ghoulish Gary Pollan. This one, this one's got, you know, you've seen this movie. This creepy, weird music. It's just uh, a lot of weird noises and everything. But uh, originally it could be said it'd be the very first slasher. Came out before Halloween. So there you go. Black Christmas. Now this one right here, number 27 of The Thing with the breakaway cover. So awesome. Got John Carpenter there. Rest in peace, Wilford Brimley, before he passed out of the meeting of Monster Palooza. At the same time, we got Keith David to sign it as well there. So I could add a couple more on there, but for right now, start to get those three on there. And with the super sweet ice cover, breakaway cover. So awesome. So funny story about this one. I was driving to work when this one on sale. So I had to get my phone on. I had to purchase it pretty quickly. So when I, by the time I got to a light, I was able to purchase it, put it on my cart, and, and bought it. So cause it sold out pretty quickly. So super stoked to get this one in my collection. Enya Morricone, awesome score. First time uh, John Covered, I believe, let somebody else score one of his movies. So pretty cool that it was, it was a thing. And it's highly, easily one of a, a lot of people's favorite horror movies of all time. So. That's up there on my, as mine as well, so the thing. And here we have number 29 of The Howling, Joe Dante. Lucky enough to have met him, have him sign there. And uh, Pino Donaggio again, doing the score for this one here. And amazing cover right there. Definitive 1981 film score by Pino Donaggio. There you go, Waxwork Records. So sweet. I love that cover. Such an awesome cover. There you go. You got the howling right here. Love it. Now number 30. You could hear the tubular bells playing for the Exorcist. William Freakin. The Exorcist music excerpts from the movie. And it's funny here. It says original 1974 soundtrack. Remastered from original master tapes. There's a booklet feature at XA. I work by Phantom City Creative. Super cool. I don't have it signed unfortunately by anybody. But I, I need to fix that ASAP. So this will be an awesome one to have. So again, music excerpts. So it says it's a full soundtrack, but if you look at it, side A, side B, not too many on there, but still awesome soundtrack. Love it, love playing in October. Here we have number 31, Creep Show 2, composed by Les Reed and Rick Wakeman with Old Chief Woodhead, The Raft, and The Hitchhiker. You can just hear the music just by looking at this cover. It's pretty awesome. Oh, my favorite, my favorite uh, episode, of The Raft. That one used to freak me. I was a kid, man. It was so creepy. I watch it now. It's just like a big garbage bag in the lake. It's so funny, man. But I still love it. I still love it. It's so rad. The music's always great on these. It's so cool. I just love the comic book art to it. That's Creep Show too. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Turtle Power, the complete 1990 soundtrack by John Duprez. This movie is in my top five movies. Top ten, top five, top five, probably top five. Uh, I love this movie. I love the soundtrack. Not sure how I feel about the cover. But it says new art by Kevin Eastman, so gotta respect that. Gotta love the fact that, you know, one of the creators came back and, and did this cover. So awesome, awesome soundtrack, awesome movie. This one here, if you look, if you're asking. For the end, Shredder's Last Hand, The Fall of Shredder, TMT, Alt Mix, Splinter's Tale, Splinter's Tale 2. So are you saying to yourself, are you missing, where's that MC Hammer? It's my body, it's my body, you know, MC Hammer's joint, Turtle Power at the end, doesn't happen unfortunately. So, original motion pitch soundtrack, John Duprez, still awesome, awesome run, there you are, Cowabunga. Gotta have this. When this, first, when this was announced, I was like, no brainer. I'm buying it. Easy. No questions asked. Number 51. Wax will record number 51. When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. George Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Music by Goblin. One of my favorite horror movies of all time. Got to see it in 3D. Got to meet Ken Furry a bunch of times. There it is right there. Sweet cover by Butcher Billy. Motion pictures. Original soundtrack by Goblin. So awesome, so epic. Look at that. Dawn of the Dead. How do you, how do you not, not, not this movie? I know the music, so there you go. Now here we have John Carpenter's Escape from New York. Sacred Bones record exclusive. Boom, right there. 
again, you can't think of a Carpenter movie without hearing his music. This one's got one of the coolest scores of ever. And to have it on vinyl, even better. Ain't that right, Snake? Yeah, Snake agrees. Look at that cover. So sick. I just got this. Take a clock. So awesome. There you go. This here is number 78 of the release, but I get, I'm getting the FYE exclusive. A different color variant. Uh, Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses. Sweet cover. Look at how it is. Baby. Captain Spaulding. This one's awesome. This one's a no-brainer. This one, if you love a movie, you gotta have the soundtrack. Oh, it's what? There's Dr. Satan. So what's cool about this one, too, you, you get, like, the music and the soundtrack and score by Rob Zombie and the song by the soundtrack. Song, Rob, Rob song, Rob, song, you know. So you get the Ramones, you get Slim Whitman, you know, you get uh, Buck Owens. I mean, just just a cool mix of, like, the sound, you know, score and soundtrack, which I was a huge fan of. So I love this movie. I've owned it. I owned it on CD, but I had to get it on vinyl. They have a cool part. Rob Zombie's got a partnership with Waxwork and releasing a lot of his movies. So this was a no-brainer right here. Here's, here's number 89, The Lords of Salem. I don't have Devil's Rejects or From Hell yet. So I'll be adding those soon. But for right now, um, underrated Rob Zombie movie. Um, got people, not, not enough people talk about it. They should. They love his movies. They got to they gotta throw this in there. Everyone always talks about House and Devils, which I also love as well. But um, this one's underrated. And people should talk about it more. Creepy music. Bonus black metal live album with B-side etching. That's how the band and it's so cool. That it had a cool release too where it was like a box. Just like in the movie but it was so expensive. They only made a couple of them. But so if anyone scored that, kudos to you man. That was awesome. But yeah, this one this one is a underrated flick for sure. Definitely stoked to add this to my collection. Here we have 94. Really, number 94 release. Alice. Sweet Alice. Uh, right there, original motion picture soundtrack by Stephen Lawrence, available for the first time in any format. Bloody Raincoat variant, which is so stoked. There it is, music soundtrack. Now, I had just recently watched this. My friend Brooks has been wanting me to watch it forever, over and over again. I'm like, all right, I'll watch it, I'll watch it. And then I finally did. I'm like, okay, I get it. See so how you like it. But the music uh, is so um, contagious in it as well. But yeah, this was a this was a, this was a cool watch. It's a really fun. I'd never seen that cover. There's that other one with the shopping cart or shopping bag with the knife, and I was always intrigued by it, so I was so stoked to finally watch it. And now they're releasing the soundtrack. I'm like, yep, I'm gonna add that to my collection. So there you have it, Alice, sweet Alice. Original motion picture music by Paul Herzog, complete score available for the first time on vinyl. Artwork by Vans Kelly, Bloodsport again, hand in hand movie music, awesome '80s freaking montage style music to train to to kick ass to it's just so much fun blood sport i mean it's a sweet cover so stoked to add this one on into my collection there you have it that's number 119 there you go number 119 waxwork records blood sport now here's the devil's rejects this is the one that i still need to pick up for rob zombies trilogy there the firefly and then three from hell this is the other one this is on waxwork records website I'm not sure if they still have it. If not, it's probably already sold out. Let's see what else we got on here. Um, there's put see, I don't have Beetlejuice, I don't have Leon Professional, Light of the Night of the Living Dead, Tales from the Dark Side, Chud, Nightbreed. So there's part seven, part eight. I mean, yeah, there's part eight here. This is the one I don't have as well. Still need to add this one. Um, these are getting a little harder to, to get. See if you can see they're all sold out. <laughs> you look there real quick, they're all sold out. As well as a new blood, this one sold out as well. Um, I didn't just didn't jump on them at the time, unfortunately. Yeah, you gotta be quick on these. Here's the final chapter, here's new five part five, new beginning. Um, but these these ones are super popular. You gotta jump on these when they first initially get released. If not, you'll miss out on them. And then like part two, oh that part four, the final chapter, which was my favorite. Look at that cover. So awesome. I definitely need to pick that one up. Um, like I said, those are pretty much Sold out, and like you look at part three, part two, part one, sold out as well. This was like way back when Watch were first started. It's like one of their first releases, so I was a little late to the game on these, fortunately. Reanimated Chopping Mall as well. 
Now it's funny, it's again, like I said, it's not complete. There's a bunch of them I'm missing. There's a lot of them by the 13th series I'm missing, part four, part five, part one. Um, so I still need to add those to my collection. Um, Devil's Rejects, Three From Hell. Um, I just ordered Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, um, actually. So almost this feel, video feels incomplete now without that one. So I might have to add that later. I'll do a separate review of that one by itself. But just wanted to show you, um, and, and the fan club as well on Facebook, um, my complete not complete but my waxwork records record collection as of as of right now so hope you guys liked this little fun video if you did hit that like button if you already haven't subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button it doesn't hurt you man just push that button and uh keep you in the loop of all the cool content that i'll be adding on here so um yeah hope you guys enjoyed it so until the next video